And you can see that our private blockchain is running. We have deployed our contract and I have also initialized the front end. So if I come back here, if I go back to the front end, you will find our front end is running fine. So I'll click on this connect wallet and it's going to give me this option. I click on this MetaMask and it will open the MetaMask. I have to give my credential and I have given my credential. I will simply connect my wallet and you will find that I'm successfully logged in. And this is the fund I have in my wallet, which I can use to perform the transaction. So this is the storage contract we have. So I can simply click on this increment and it's going to make a call to our MetaMask and we have simply confirmed the transaction. So that's how we have confirmed and this number went up. If I want to increment one more time, I can click on this confirm and the transaction is went to and it's went to 44. If I want to decrement, I can click here, click on this confirm and this transaction went through. If I want to set the direct value, I can click here and I can click on the set value, click on this confirm and the transaction went through. So this is how you can perform. You can see the transaction is happening very fast. You will find all the model. If you come back to your VS codes, you will find all the transaction logs. So this is the block eight. We had four earlier. Right now we got eight because we have performed four to get four transaction together. So that's how we can able to interact with the storage contract, the model we have. And this is all the custom architecture. The moment you will change your wallet is going to trigger the event automatically. So that's all the data you will find that what we have passed what the hash we have, what's the tracking model the difficulty. You can able to set all the limits based on your logic, which you want to implement to the private blockchain.